Good evening, this is the six o'clock news and I'm Poppy Whitmore. The women's fencing finals is taking place tomorrow. Let's go live to the British finalist with Barbara Tannington. I'm here with the women's British fencing champion, Natasha Smythe. Tomorrow, you could take home that most precious gold. How does that make you feel? All right, because a lot of people told me that I'd never get it and tomorrow I'm going to prove them all wrong. Well, that's strong words from the British number one. It's Barbara Tannington and it's back to you in the studio. And now, let us go to the finals for the egg and spoon race at the Olympic Arena. Hi, I'm Katie Ladson, live from HTC News. We are live at the Olympic Stadium for the egg and spoon race. Let's see how they're feeling. So, Jack, how are you feeling? I'm nervous, but in my eyes, everyone is a winner. Good luck. So, Sebastian, how are you feeling? Confident, but I'm just doing this for my mum. Good luck. So, Ellie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, yeah, feeling great. But today I'm going to win. I have to win and I'm going to win. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. OK, contestants, are we ready? Yes, yep. Yeah. Peter Ray, whatever you do, do not let go of that spoon. Good luck. Here's your egg. Whatever you do, do not drop that egg. Good luck. Here's your egg. Whatever you do, do not eat that egg. Good luck. On your marks, get set. <whistles> Hi, I'm Louise Shea and I'm here reporting for HTC News. We're at the medal ceremony speaking to the winners of the egg and sperm race. So how does it feel to have got this far? I'm happy with myself that I tried and I've done it for my family. Um, I think Ellie deserved to win and that she tried her hardest, so that's good enough for me. This doesn't feel right winning like this. Maybe I shouldn't have cheated and played fair. No, no. I don't want to win like this. I feel too guilty. You deserve to win. It's been a very exciting day today here at the Egg and Spoon Race Final. You've seen all the drama unfold. I'm Louise Shea reporting for HTC News. <laughs>